Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at an awesome British dragon figure that I just picked up. And guys, this is a really hard to find figure that hardly ever shows up anywhere actually. Um, I've been after this guy for a good while now, so I'm really happy to finally have him. Uh, but I paid 80 bucks for this guy, so he's definitely very pricey, um, but a really cool figure. So let's go ahead and show you the box here. Okay, World War II Germany, 1945. And this guy's a British uh, SAS trooper. And his name is Johnny Vicks. And there's a really, really cool picture of the figure. I love that pose. I think that's really nice. This is a really cool box. It's a little thinner than some of the other ones. And that's because uh, there's no equipment on this side. Uh, so this guy doesn't come with as much equipment as some other figures. Uh, but there's another cool picture on the top. And there's the back of the box. And this one's one of their newer figures. He was released in 2011. So the detail is really good on him. Uh, but let's go ahead and show you the figure now. <clears throat> All right, here he is. As you guys know, I really like British dragon figures, so this guy was a must for me. Uh, I really, really wanted to get him and was willing to pay, I guess, any price really, as long as he didn't go over a hundred. Um, but eighty dollars is a lot, but I think it's worth it. This guy's really cool. Like I said, the detail is just very nice on him. A uh, really good dragon figure. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you his Tommy gun here. Uh, this is a really cool version of the Tommy submachine gun, and he poses very well with it. All right, that looks really cool. I love the way that looks. Alright, here it is up close. Looks very nice. I like the glossy look on the wood parts of the gun. It looks very nice. Strap is also really cool. Very nice. And there's a longer uh, magazine. He comes with a whole bunch of magazines here. Let me go ahead and take them out actually. In his pouch I have a whole bunch of other extra clips. And he does come with some smaller ones. Let me try to get one of those out. Okay, there it is. It's a lot smaller. Um, just depends on what uh, kind of look you're going for, I guess. Uh, I personally like the longer one. But the smaller one also looks pretty good. Alright, and you can pull this back. You can see the bullet inside. Uh, so very good quality submachine gun here. Really cool. <coughs> uh, this guy also does come with an extra pistol here. And this is a German Luger, I believe. And this is really cool. Um, the detail is really good on this too. You can pull this piece back and uh, the clip is pretty hard to take out but it does come out. I don't think I can get that out at the moment. I got it stuck in there pretty good. Uh, but it's a pretty thin magazine. There he is holding it. That looks very cool. Alright, <clears throat> and he does come with a third weapon. He has his own uh, pistol here, a revolver, 
And this is really cool. It's got a cord at the end of it. And you can open that up. You can see the bullets inside. Very nice. So I thought it was pretty cool. This guy comes with three weapons. That's pretty cool. That also looks great. Okay. Here is the figure's head sculpt with his beret on, his SAS beret. That looks very nice. Now uh, this beret is a little bigger than some of the other berets that I have. Uh, but it fits pretty well in the figure. You kind of have to really smash it down on his head. Um, but I like the sticker on there. That looks very cool. And the head sculpt on this guy is really nice. Uh, it's one of the later models, so a lot of detail on the head sculpt. looks very good. Okay. As for some of his belt equipment, uh, you see he's got the two pouches in front. You can put the extra ammo clips in there. Um, on the side, we got another little pouch there, and see we got a knife with its sheath. That's pretty cool. And on the front, they actually have him uh, holding the knife in his mouth. I don't think that's possible to do on the actual figure. <laughs> anyway, thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, but moving on, we got a canteen here, and then his revolver holster. And then you got the straps for his belt here coming around across his shoulders and going across his chest. Very nice. Let me try to take his belt off here. You have to be very careful with these belts. They're super, super fragile. So let me just try to take this off. Okay, uh, so underneath he comes with this really cool leather uh, jerkin, and that looks very nice. And underneath that is just a standard British uniform, which is also very nice as always. Alright, and of course we got some nice looking boots, and some leggings that you have to put on manually. <laughs> Those are always fun to get on, uh, but once you get them on, it looks very nice. Alright guys, so that's uh, Dragon British figure Johnny Vix, and this is a really, really nice figure. I definitely recommend picking this guy up if you can. Like I said, he's very hard to find, and you're definitely going to pay a lot of money for him, uh, but he's worth it. Definitely worth it. Very cool figure. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.